Hey guys, it's your girl Shella, P R O M O S T K, Shella's Creations Way. Y'all join us, join me as I prepare these great northern beans in a stew. Oh. And these are your ingredients. And stay tuned to the end and you'll see exactly how it all came together. And come join Promo STK and download the app of Be Go Live. Oh yeah. Hey you guys, we're gonna be making Northern Bean Soup or Stew. Northern Bean Soup or Stew. Oh yeah. We got our Northern Beans that's been soaking overnight. We have our potatoes, we have our carrots, onion, and all of our seasonings. And guess what, you guys? This is going to be meatless. Oh, yeah. Check out my large llama bean meatless video, and you'll know exactly what I mean. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys. So first things first, right now I have these carrots I've already... Um, taking the, the outside skin layer off. They've been washed. I'm gonna cut them in, uh, let's see how I'm gonna cut these babies. I'm gonna cut them in this thickness and then I'm just gonna cut it in fours. So as you'll see right here, I'll be cutting it like this and then again like that. So we have fours. All right. So you're going to cut them about an inch in thickness and then you'll take and just cut them straight down the middle. That's what we're going to be doing with these carrots. When we're done with the carrots, we'll come back and show you guys what we're going to be doing with the potatoes. See you in a second. All right, so we got all the carrots chopped up in the bowl. Now we're going to start with the potatoes. We have a total of five nice-sized potatoes, and we're going to dice those up as well. Let me show you guys the desired. Okay, so this is the way. This is the thickness we need right here. We're going to pretty much cut them the same, like if you were making potato salad. Come like in little dice chunks like this, similar to your carrot chunks. So you want your veggies to all be similar in size, okay? So I'm gonna just be dropping these in my container of water because you don't want your potatoes to brown. And I'm gonna finish dicing these potatoes up. And I will be back when I'm done. And we'll go on to the next vegetable, which will be our onion. Oh yeah. All right, so on the last of our potatoes, All right, so how are we gonna do these? We're just gonna dice these up as well. You can use two 
onions if you want, but we're just gonna use one. Because we're gonna also be using onion powder. So now we have all of our veggies in the bowl. Our potatoes, our carrots, and now our onions. So what we're gonna do now, I've already rinsed my beans off. I'm just gonna pour the excess water off. And as you see my beans, they are right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the pot and let the beans start uh, cooking with the seasonings and we'll be back. And this is a 32 ounce, so it's two pounds of the Great Northern Beans. Now you wanna make sure that when you're doing your beans, you have at least an inch of water over your beans. So as you can see, that's not quite an inch, so we're gonna add some more water to the beans. So now, let's just say we need at least an inch of water over your beans. Now we're going to start adding our seasonings. We're going to put our black pepper. That's about maybe two tablespoons of black pepper. We're going to put our onion powder. about two tablespoons of onion powder. Okay. We're gonna put our celery seed. Since we're not adding celery, we're gonna use celery seed. That's like a tablespoon of celery seed. We're gonna use some Goya. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're using Goya, but right now I'm using Badia Complete Seasoning. Again, tablespoon. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put two bay leaves in here, two bay leaves. One and two. Okay. Next, we're going to put sea salt. And the, um, the badia already has um, salt in it. So we're only gonna lose, use about maybe a, um, just one tablespoon of this sea salt. All right, that should be good. And then, because this is a meatless northern bean, we're gonna add ham flavored goya. And we're gonna put about two packs in there. And get the box open. All right, so we're gonna use both packs. Give it a good old fashioned stir. All 
like so. I'm going to put the lid on these and I'm going to let them uh, come to a boil and then I'll lower the temperature. I'll keep the temperature on medium high while it's boiling. Then I'll turn the heat down to about medium low. And then for about maybe an hour and then I'll add my vegetables in it because we want to make sure that all that goodness gets in these beans. And then we'll add our veggies to it. And by then the broth will have thickened a little bit and the water will have dissipated, okay? All right, so we'll see you guys in a few. And you guys, my last and final seasoning, oh yeah, it's my meat liquor that I had frozen and I thawed it out so I can pour it in here. So yeah, that's my meat liquor, you guys. That's my secret ingredient. That's my secret ingredient. We'll give it that final stir. All right, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Shello's Creations way. And there goes that lid. All right, see you in a few. All right, you guys. This broth is looking so good. You see how it's cooked down? Do you see these beans? You see these great northern beans? Now remember, I showed you guys we got two pounds of this. And because it's just me and Frank, we can't eat two pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of this and put half of it in another pot. And these veggies right here, I've already strained the liquid out of them. I'm going to put half of these veggies with the other half that I'm going to put in a separate pot. And if you hold on just a minute, you'll see exactly what I'm going to be doing. All right, so I'm going to just take I have a pot right here to the other side. And I'm going to take half. Out of this pot, and I'll make sure that one of those bay leaves, which it just dropped in this pot, went to the other pot. That's what I want to make sure. And let's see. Okay. And you see, we have about half and half, but oh, there's that other bay leaf. So we're going to keep that bay leaf in this pot. So we're gonna put another spoonful over in there. And then I'm gonna take and pour, let me get my hand mittens because the pot is hot. The pot is hot. So I'm gonna take the bro some broth because we need some broth in this other pot too. So I'm gonna take and pour some of that over in here. There we go. All right. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, now we're going to take some of these good old veggies right here. And I'm just going to put them in there myself because I want to make sure that we got the same amount of veggies in the pot. I'm excited about these great northern beans. This is my first time making a great northern bean stew. So, of course, I'm doing it show us creation's way. So, we'll pour the rest of these in here. And in here. All right. So, now, we got everything in here that needs to go in here. And now, all we're going to do now is just let the veggies cook in. Because it's not going to take as long for the veggies to cook. And look at that, you guys. See that? Now, what I'm going to do... I know y'all saw earlier, y'all saw me with the um, extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tablespoon of oil in there and also in the other pot. We're gonna do it a stir. The other pot, I'm gonna let it cool down and I'm gonna freeze it. But this pot right here, 
we are going to be eating this pot of goodness at P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Eating good in a neighborhood. Oh yeah. See you guys in a few. All right, you guys. So look at the finished Northern. Mm, mm, mm. The finished great Northern beans with the carrots, potatoes, and the onions. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Don't forget to join us at the table at P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Oh yeah. Eating good in the neighborhood. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Mmm. Steamy goodness. Oh yeah.